What's up, YouTube? Another video. This one I'm just showing the zombie movies I own, basically. Not really an update or anything, but here we go. First one is Night of the Living Dead. The one that started all the zombie movies, I would say. And this one is the color and black and white dual layered disc edition. The next one is uh, Day of the Dead. This is the one where they're in the underground missile silo. It has the bub on the cover. Well, There's a special edition one. I haven't got around to getting that one, but yeah, this is a good, a good zombie movie. And the next one we have is Dawn of the Dead. This is the one where they're there in the mall and uh, Tom Zavini makes an appearance in here. He's one of the bikers. And um got that guy Ken Faree. He comes out as a uh, Joe Grizzly in the Halloween remake. He also comes out in the Dawn of the Dead remake. He's one of the newscasters. But uh, I read in the blogs, uh, I don't know if it's just a rumor or not, but this is supposed to be going out of print soon. So I'm going to have to get me another copy of this. So I'm going to get this copy. I'm not going to open it because, you know, once they go out of print, that's pretty much it. They'll be hard to find after that. But yeah, it's another one of my favorites. And we got Lucille Fulci Zombie. Two disc Ultimate Edition. This came out a couple of months back. One of this other um, editions of Zombie, but I just got this one right here. Um, I like Lucille Fulci. I also have Manhattan Baby. The, I also want to get The Beyond. That's another old school horror movie. That one's hard to find. I think that one's only available on Amazon. But um, there's also City of the Living Dead. I wouldn't get that one. Uh, there's no zombies in it. The cover looks makes it look as, as if it's a zombie movie, and it isn't. But uh, yeah, there's sequels to this as well. They used to have it at Fry's as like a zombie movie pack. It had Zombie 3, 4, and 5. I guess you could just get that out of Amazon if you can't find it anywhere. Then we got Return of the Living Dead. This one has uh, the girl that plays Trash. She actually comes out in uh, Night of the Demons, the original. She comes out as Susie, the one that starts the... She's the first one to get possessed in that movie. But I didn't really like the sequels to this too much. I know there's a Lionsgate pack out too. It's uh, like the third one that they have. And it's got a... Bride of Reanimator and Beyond Reanimator and Return of the Living Dead 3, which I'm about to get to right now. I didn't get that one. I actually seen it at the store, but I didn't really care for that edition too much, so I didn't get that Lionsgate pack. And then I have uh, Return of the Living Dead 3. This is the one that's in that Lionsgate 6 pack. This is one of my favorites. Before I seen it in that Lionsgate pack, uh, this one was pretty hard to find. I found it at a Barnes & Noble. Then I got a uh, automation transfusion, unrated and undead. This is a low budget horror zombie movie, but uh, I liked it. I believe there's supposed to be a sequel to it, and when that comes out, more likely I will get that one too. But yeah, I usually don't care for the newer zombie movies, but this one was alright. Then we got the Night of the Living Dead remake. This was pretty good. It has Bill Mosley and uh, Tony Todd, the guy that comes out in all the Candyman movies. Bill Mosley comes out in a lot of movies as well. Came out in uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. He comes out in The Devil's Rejects as well as House of a Thousand Corpses. Then we have The Dead. This is one of the newest zombie movies that came out. Uh, you can get this one at Walmart, I believe, for like 10 bucks. I like this one. It's not like the other zombie movies come out where they're all like running fast and stuff. They stick to the old concept of the way the zombies were where they move slow. And this one is just about like a 
group of special ops people at the beginning get trapped at this island in Africa and uh, they're just like plagued by zombies over there and stuff. But yeah, this is a good zombie movie, I would say. So if you see that on Walmart, you might want to get it. And the next last two aren't so good. Got a Redneck Zombies a Special Edition. This one uh, came with the soundtrack to it, actually. It's a trauma release. They had this at Walmart a while back for only five bucks. And um, it's all right. The fat kid from, uh, I don't know if you ever seen the movies, The Willies. He comes out in here. He's one of the redneck guys in this movie. But, uh, yeah, this is kind of like a funny zombie movie, I would say. But yeah, this one's all right. The last one I would not recommend buying. This is called The Dead Next Door. The cover got me, you know. If you look at the cover, it looks like a pretty badass zombie movie. And the back, too, makes it look like, yeah, it's a good zombie movie. It's, uh... I got this at Circuit City when that store was still around. But yeah, it's just one of those movies where they make the cover look all neat and stuff. And then when you get it, it's a crappy movie. But yeah, this is, I don't know, when I seen the zombies going to rent movies at the video store, I thought that was a little too corny. But this is an older movie, but I don't know, it's alright. I wouldn't buy it again or recommend it, but that's pretty much it for now. It's all my zombie movies in my collection. And I also got the uh, Dawn of the Dead remake and uh, the Land of the Dead. I also have those two. I forgot to put those up there, but those are the other two zombie movies I have as well. And that's pretty much it for now.